If a calf doesn't receive good quality colostrum, we have to ensure that the environmental challenge through uh, the provision of good hygiene is, is enhanced um, because inherently this calf is more susceptible to infection. The bacteria that calves come in contact with will go through a, a number of routes, primarily through, through milk or, or the colostrum. So it's absolutely important that the calving environment is, is as clean and hygienic as possible. So that's the bedding. Secondly, it's actually the cow's teats. The, the recently calved teats must be ensured to be as clean as possible. So one of the, the way that the most practical ways of doing this is to actually remove the calf from the environment that actually holds the contamination, i.e. the calving yard. So in essence, we would advise to remove the calf away from the calving yard as soon as possible after birth. We know full well that the number of bacteria in the milk or the colostrum will have an effect on the ability for the milk with the antibody in it to be absorbed through the calf's stomach. We also know that the antibody actually attaches to this bacteria before it enters through the calf's stomach. And if it does this, it's of no function and there's no way then when it's attached to the bacteria outside the calf's body that it can get into the bloodstream and be a way of preventing infection going forward in the calf's newborn life.